Hey, so my name is uh, Christopher Powell. I'm a, I'm a captain of the United States Army, and uh, I'm a medical services officer, uh, which is the branch of, of the Army that I uh, am a member of or that I assessed in. Uh, so I, I came into the Army through ROTC, an ROTC scholarship to Texas A&M University, and uh, Medical Service Corps was one of the different options or opportunities uh, to branch. So. Uh, I thought coming into into the army that the medical service corps would provide a great opportunity to get um, some practical experience in the medical field, specifically in the, on the management side, uh, and most importantly for me, uh, there's a lot of a lot of great um, opportunities for um, education going forward, uh, which I look to pursue in the near future. So, for the people who may not know, what is a medical services uh, officer? What, what is that? So a medical service corps, so essentially the Army, uh, Army Medical Department, uh, we have um, an entire department within the Army that's dedicated to providing um, uh, health service support and uh, brick and mortar medical support to all the beneficiaries, all the uh, military members and their families, um, as well as retirees. And so essentially within that construct, the medical service corps specifically focuses more on some of the tactical expeditionary um, provision of medical care to um, our service members um, when they're overseas. To become a medical ser services corps officer, uh, what does that require? You have to be in the military first, right? And then uh, either branch, Air Force, Army, Navy? Yes. And then um, can you tell us about the kind of the training and the schooling required? Absolutely. So uh, so each branch of service does have their own medical service corps, uh, the Navy, um, the Air Force, as well as the Army. Um, as, as I said previously, I'm in the Army. and so. There's a lot of different ways to um, become an officer in the Army. You can go through the Military Academy, which is the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. Um, you can go through Officer Candidate School, uh, which, is a, which is an option for um, people to be assessed through once they um, have graduated college and they can apply for that. Or what a majority of officers do um, is called uh, ROTC, or Reserve Officer Training Corps, um, which is at a host of uh, universities across America. So I specifically did that, and then my junior year, um, you're kind of given an, an option sheet essentially to rank rank and file uh, different um, branches within the, within the army that you'd like to serve in moving forward. And so for me specifically, uh, medical service corps, uh, you know, seemed like a great opportunity for me to to do something that I was interested in, um, and that had a, a, a practical or an opportunity to um, continue into uh, graduate education, and then most importantly for me specifically, um, that had a civilian applicability that I could um, apply um, post-retirement. Got you. Um, so what is a typical kind of day for you? I know it probably kind of varies, but are you based in a hospital location, kind of in an outside, outside the hospital? How do your days usually look? So it varies quite a bit. Um, as, as a junior medical service corps officer, you're more than likely to be assigned to an operational unit. And by that, I mean a brigade combat team or battalion or, or whatsoever. And so your job really um, in that battalion or in that brigade is a, essentially a, a, a catalyst for medical readiness uh, for the force or for the unit that you're um, supporting or a part of. And so that's making sure that your unit is uh, uh, medically fit, uh, whether it be immunizations or um, periodic health assessments or, or what have you, you're there to ensure that the uh, that the unit is medically ready, and then also from the tactical standpoint that you, that you, that medical platoon and those organic assets within that unit um, are providing the best um, health service support plan to support uh, whatever operation that unit is participating in. So it varies quite a bit. Um, as you kind of um, go up in promotion, have been in the Army a little bit longer, you have an opportunity to go into the hospital and actually work in the management um, management side of things with, uh, you know, regulating patient care and, and all that. So to become a medical services corps officer, you have to have your degree, four-year degree, and then you get commissioned in the military, and then you do your training for the medical ser services corps. How, how long was that training? So it, it's medical, it kind of depends. Um, like I said, it, four, four-year degree is the, is the baseline requirement to be assessed as an officer um, in the Army. And then um, post that, we have a what's called a basic officer leader course, uh, which is a two and a half month course at Fort Sam Houston, Texas. And that's the your kind of baseline 
uh, military education, as you will, that you complete. And then uh, kind of as a mid-level um, uh, mid level company grade officer requirement, you go to a captain's career course, um, which is also offered at Fort Sam Houston University, or Fort Sam, sorry, Fort Sam Houston, Texas. Um, and you also have the opportunity to go to different different uh, career courses. For instance, I, I opted to go to the logistics career course at Fort Lee, Virginia. So a lot of different opportunities. Um, but once again, you have the military education requirement, which is the basic officer leader course and the captain's career course. And then to go further um, within Medical Service Corps, specifically working in the hospital and the Army, that's where the kind of civilian degrees come into play with the Master's in Health Administration, Master's in Business Administration, et cetera. Okay. And once you separate from the military or retire, what kind of jobs can you, can does that kind of translate to going into, going into the civilian world? So it's, there's actually, there's a litany of different opportunities. Um, and within the Medical Service Corps, what's so unique about our um, branch specifically is that there's so many different condiments that you can go down. So you have medical logistics and some some uh, officers will choose to go down a you know MBA in supply chain management or different things which kind of positions them in a field maybe to work with logistical enterprises like FedEx or UPS. Um, and then you also have the, um, the actual clinical uh, health administration and management side and uh, specifically the program I'm looking to do is through Baylor University and that offers a, a master's in health administration and a master's in business administration. Um, and that gives you the opportunity uh, post-military um, to kind of uh, work in a hospital setting and, you know, in the management um, kind of operations um, section, just ensuring day-to-day -day operations um, are going on. And that also applies as well to um, we also have another comptroller um, job where you go and you'll get your, your MBA and then you'll be working on the financial side of the hospital. So a lot of different things the Medical Service Corps does really fills a lot of those different roles within um, any hospital structure. Gotcha. And three last questions I asked of all of my guests. Um, uh, the first question, what is your favorite food? Favorite food? My mom's an amazing cook, so it would definitely have to be something that my mom makes. Uh, I think I'll go with chicken parmesan. Gotcha. Chicken parmesan. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do outside of work? What do you like to do? So I, I really like to travel. Um, with the Army, I had the great opportunity of living in Europe for about four years. And so I went to probably visit almost 50 countries um, over those four years. So I really kind of uh, really got a love for traveling and experiencing different cultures. What was your favorite place? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'd say... Um, Morocco was Morocco. probably one of, the, okay. one of the best places I went to. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and any advice that you have for anyone who may be interested in the Medical Services Corps or just the Army in general, what, what kind of advice would you be able to give them? Well, first off, um, I'll definitely make sure that my information is, is provided um, uh, for this. So if anybody has any questions to reach out. But I'd say really just to do your research. And the Army um, may not be the service that best fits you. There's Medical Service Corps in the Air Force at, and Navy. As previously stated, um, but I'd say the biggest thing really is just to work hard, work hard, focus on you know what gives you fulfillment, um, what kind of where you feel your passions at, and I think uh, you know when you're working in a field or you're working in a in an environment where um, you're truly kind of um, passionate about what you do, um, I think there's really no limit to what you'll be able to accomplish. But uh, Going on different websites, etc., will give you will give you a lot of information. But um, is really getting that baseline college degree, and you really have a lot of different opportunities uh, moving forward from there in terms of uh, what different things you're able to go into. Awesome! Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right.